We want to have just an off-the-cuff chat between you and me. Us. We want to talk right down to earth in a language that everybody here can easily understand. We all agree tonight, we all just think that we agree, that America has a very serious problem. Not only does America have a very serious problem, but our people have a very serious problem. America's problem is us. Start the show off the night with the great Gil Scott Heron's version of Marvin Gaye's classic Inner City Blues makes me want to holler. I'm just saying, man, our folks, our people, we've been hollering and screaming enough, folks. You know what I'm saying? I say it's time to make America holler and scream. Dig it? All right, you're listening to Message to the Grassroots on KEXU 91.6 FMLP, Revolutionary Poor People's Radio and TV. I'm your host, Bilal Mufundi Ali, a.k.a. Biz Molotov, a.k.a. The Voodoo Child. Tonight we have some updates uh, that are relative to our efforts to free our political prisoners and prisoners of war that have been held captive in America's concentration camps for decades political prisoners that this country continues to deny their existence. Some of you may have heard the adage, dare to struggle, dare to win. These political prisoners, the prisoner wars were and are those men and women who dared to struggle and dared to win against this parasitical and oppressive social order known as the American Empire. So first, we want to start off with the good news. A respected elder, former Black Panther, and member of the Black Liberation Army, Herman Bell, was granted parole as of April 17th wow. this year, having met all the criteria for release according to his sentence. The parole commissioners recognized his progress after serving nearly 45 years in prison and granted his parole application. He is looking forward to being uh, released and being with his family. We welcome Brother Herman Bell home. Yeah. Now, although we remain a little cautious due to the fact that Herman and other captive freedom fighters have had their parole <coughs> rescinded before. So, but we're gonna say, we're gonna say positive and let's hope that there will not be a lot of a repeat of the past. We what's the call, we say free them all. Oh. Herman Bell, many of you may know, was captured in 1973 in New Orleans more than two years after he and two other men were accused of killing two New York City police officers. Herman is now 70 years old. Herman has always contend that uh, he was innocent of this and it was a frame up and we all know that Herman was part of the Black Panther Party and the Black Liberation Army and they all came under the purview of J. Ergo Hoover's FBI, the Federal Bureau of Intim Intimidation and Instigation. So we all know Herman was set up He's been down 45 years. It's time for this brother to come home and share a wealth of knowledge. He continues to be a freedom fighter, a revolutionary, and to come home and share that with our young people. We're going to raise this next generation of revolutionaries and get our freedom. Yeah. Our other news relative to political prisoner, prison war, is that the Jericho Amnesty Movement, a movement that was started by and is for former political prisoners and also people still have captive in the Americans Gular. Jericho will be celebrating its 20 year anniversary Saturday, March 24th in New York City. The Jericho Amnesty Movement will be celebrating 20 years of struggle to liberate all U.S. political prisoners and prisoners of war. During these 20 years, Jericho has provided consistent support to our captured freedom fighters, including visiting them regularly and facilitating family and legal visits. Jericho has also formed legal and medical teams to help our freedom fighters. We have March held workshops, forums, and other events to educate people on our 
about our political provisors and to provide them with much needed assistance to them and their family. I was a founding member of the Jericho Movement in Los Angeles 1998, and I can tell you it feels so good that despite the tremendous odds and forces against this movement, we will not stop struggling to free our held captive men and women who have sacrificed so much so that we could live. So what's the call? We free say them free them all. This has been Message to the Grassroots with Bilal Mufunli Ali. Stay tuned for our other programmers. And we say free all political prisoners, free the land, and most importantly, free our minds and our asses will follow. We out of here. Good night. How many minutes was that? 527.